Thank you for clicking on the video. Uh, here in this Why I Own It video today, I'm going to uh, round out kind of the last couple videos I've done of random hodgepodge collections uh, that I own. And today I am going to talk about the original Terminator uh, movie by James Cameron, which I talked a while ago in uh, one of these about Terminator 2, how I had a weird collection of the DVD, a Blu-ray, and the weird slipcover, which I don't have a slipcover for this one, but I both have a Blu-ray and a DVD in this one again, same like Terminator 2. Now, the artwork that's here and then these discs... If you look on this one here, this is also a 2015, I believe, MGM release of the original Terminator. And again, this one is pretty much considered for picture quality uh, and even audio quality for a surround sound mix. Probably the best release you're going to find of this. Um, I mean, some people mention like Laserdisc releases and stuff. I've never seen those. I've never owned them. But for a DVD or Blu-ray release, this one's pretty much considered the best kind of overall quality you can get. So that's why I have this one. But more to the point, this disc here came in only a certain edition of the DVD releases. It actually came with two different cover art. It came kind of like this one, uh, which is printed on this disc, that looks like just a more standard poster kind of picture of Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator. But it also came with the uh, DVD art kind of in a holographic uh, cover, which the one I found didn't have that. If I would have found that, I probably would have just kept it because it looks kind of cool. Uh, but this one had just the standard art. This is also an MGM DVD release. But the whole reason why I own this one, much for the same reason why in my Terminator 2 video I owned a specific DVD version, is while the picture quality is you know, serviceable on the DVD, it's not as good as the Blu-ray. But the reason I own this is this is the only release outside of some Laserdisc releases that has the original mono mix from Terminator. So when Terminator, the original one, was released theatrically way back in the 80s, it only had a mono mix. It didn't end up having a stereo surround or a 5.1 mix or anything until much later on home releases when it was up mixed, which is what's on the Blu-ray disc right here. So the whole reason why I own these, and this, again, a weird hodgepodge set that I've compiled together, is the Blu-ray has the best picture quality you're going to get, uh, at least out of any release I've seen for this film. And then this DVD is going to have the original theatrical audio, which is the only release outside of a laser disc that you can find that. And so, yeah, that's why, again, I own <laughs> this uh, Terminator collection that I've compiled in my collection. And it seems to be a trend. I've noticed this with, with uh, James Cameron films that for some reason the original audio never gets ported over into a Blu-ray or a 4K release that I'm aware of. Uh, all his older films, catalog films, you know, from like the 80s and early 90s tend to have DVD releases that contain all that or laser disc release that contains it. And then the Blu-ray or a 4K release only has upmixed stuff on there, which is kind of weird. I guess I don't know if that's James Cameron's doing or studios or whatever. But anyways, that is why I own this set for the Terminator. Uh, like I say in all my videos, I appreciate everything uh, from everyone, all the views, all the subs, all the comments. You know, I've been talking to people online and it's been fun. So uh, like I always say, it's truly humbling to see all that stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Uh, since I've got more content coming out soon, I'll see you then. Thank you.